It was like this when I got here. Did you touch or move anything in here? Only the phone. Good. Calm down. I'll take care of this. Had you already finished looking through these papers? I wish. Well, I guess you'll enjoy sorting all this again. Bingo. What is it? Nothing. Just a freshly signed contract. What are you doing? Do you like sardines? Excuse me? Do you like sardines? Ugh. Hmm. Looks like the burglar isn't interested in bureaucracy. Not that I suspected otherwise, but it's obvious they weren't looking for money. Did they take anything? No. Although, when you went in the hospital room to get your purse, did you get the gun as well? Yes. Isn't it there? I put it back. I'd rather not go through that again. That's too bad. It looks like they took it. Who's this that? Mary Purnell. You think she did this? Hmm. Footprints don't match. Or if O'Leary killed Dunn, he did it without stepping in the paint, or in different shoes. Pretty clear that Helen Moore's cigarette case was a gift from O'Leary. If she's still in love, why does she claim she hates him? What is she hiding? Wait here, please. If I were you, I wouldn't quit. Trust me, it might be painful at first, but time heals all wounds. Why did you listen to me? Hmm.
could be a knife wound. The murder was brutal. Dear Sonia, I need to tell you several, several things, things about your father. In fact, I know he would have wanted me to tell you, among them the fact that you co-own an apartment in Manhattan. Please call me. Yours truly, Mary Purnell. a friend's house. Don't even think about going home and definitely don't come back here. I'm... I'm staying at a friend's house. I haven't even set foot in my father's place yet. Good. Do you have the keys? If the murderer didn't find what he was looking for, that might be his next stop. If he hasn't been there yet. For once I had the keys to the place, which meant I wouldn't have to use my lockpicks or... It doesn't look like anyone picked the lock. see more art in a boxer's hypnotizing footwork than in certain modern paintings. Look at that. The guy sure had good taste. telephone, I remembered the weekly password for O'Leary's illegal gambling operation, even though I had rejected his reward for finding Yale, and had chosen to bet it all on Yale. I had managed to make my own dirty money by ratting out the eagle pimp during our poker game. How much damage could another bet do? Yes. Wild 
and strawberries. Welcome, sir. May I ask for the beneficiary of your bet? John H. Blackmore. I see. Event? Stone versus Yale. Madison Square Garden. Got it. Amount? $5,000. Winner? Yale wins. Place of delivery? I'd seen several locations written out in O'Leary's basement, but I could only remember one, courtesy of my new matchbox, La Iguana Pool Room. All right, sir. Good afternoon. It's hard to believe that a pair of boxing fists could play something like this, although I'm sure he had the lungs for it. Ready-made meals on airplane trays in front of the TV. Who would have thought we'd end up eating like this? Dunn died four days ago, and that lettuce still looks okay. Sardines. It's been open for a few hours. see how Dunn bought the apartment he was going to share with Mary. This place has to be empty in two weeks for the new owners. I wonder if Sonia knows about this. One of the very few teen idols who only got better with age. What's this doing here? Could this be the origin of Sonia's interest in business management? You still looked at her every morning, so many years later, with a new love? Maybe we don't need to forget. Maybe pain just transforms into, I don't know, something.
This is too private. Another empty closet. Elaine. I think that was Dunn's wife's name, according to Jake. No matter how hard I look, I'm not getting anywhere. What the hell was the burglar looking for? And most importantly, did he find it? It's pretty clear that the burglar came by the house before heading to the gym, which means he probably didn't find what he was looking for in here. I need to talk with Sonia. And maybe with her uncle, Tim. It brings back... I don't know. Bad memories? A pessimist, are we? It's like remembering the last day of summer. Scenes full of joy, picturesque landscapes, and yet... The light is faint and the air is still, the calm before the storm. I know that feeling. I figured that much. I can see it in your eyes. We met in the army. <laughs> we were all professional athletes. They called us the Olympic Five. 